Hello everyone! In our previous video we went through different use cases or our plan view. In this video we will go through our work and track models to show you how to do time tracking in Activity Timeline. In our app users can track their time spent in their personal workspace. This is a dedicated model for individuals where they can see what tasks are they assigned to, how much time they need to report as well as what's on their calendar for today. A user can switch between one or two weeks or the whole month's calendars to see different time periods. Users can log their time efforts in a number of ways. The most obvious one is to use the log work button. Here users can indicate the amount of time spent, the tasks he or she worked on and click submit. The information about this will be synchronized with Jira time tracking field. An alternative option is to use a time tracker that will automatically count the time spent. To launch the tracker, simply click on the clock icon and it will start counting the time. Whenever you are finished with the work on the task, click stop and submit the work log into Jira. As mentioned before, the time spent is synchronized with Jira, so if your users are more comfortable logging in their time there, they may continue to do so and the time will appear in activity timeline automatically after the data is refreshed. In the table below, users can see all the work logs they have submitted in selected period. If Jira permissions allow, the user can edit or delete these work logs right here. In our track model, which is only available for admin and manager users, you can generate different timesheet reports. There are three types of reports available – progress, timeline and detail reports. All the reports could be generated for both teams and individuals, as well as for all the specific projects. Our progress report works as a high-level timesheet, where managers can easily see how many hours users had to report and what the actual number of hours they have worked. Also, in addition to reports per project, you can generate a timesheet using Jira saved filters to report on any set of Jira issues. The next report we'd like to show you is Timeline Report. In this timesheet you can see how users log their hours over time for each day, week or month. In this report you can also decide how to group data. For example, you can see who contributed to each project or how much time was spent for each issue type to know the amount spent for bug fixing or for new development. The last but not the least is our detailed report. It works as an expandable table, which allows you to see all the available information about the time spent. The same as our previous report, you can group and filter it, but in addition to this, you can also expand it with an additional information. You can add additional fields to the report from Jira. When you add a new field, the timesheet table will be adjusted to include this new data. As we learned in our previous episode, you can save any configuration as a dashboard in order to easily access it in the future. As you can see on the screen, all the settings were saved. Lastly, we'd like to mention that there are different settings for our timesheet, which you can manage in configuration timesheet config. They include the possibility of work log approvals, setting limits on the number of hours to report per day, and much more. This is it for now. Today we learned about our time tracking functionality, how users can report their time spent, and how to generate a timesheet report based on this data. However, that's not all we have, and we will explore more features in the next videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at relax.com. See you in our next episodes.